Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve the DXGI device removed error code you are experiencing on your Windows computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the start menu. Type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best result, should come back a registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. And before you proceed in the registry, I would highly suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. In order to create the backup, it's very simple. All you have to do is select file and then export. File name, I recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set export range to all and save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer if you ever needed to restore from it. And if you ever did need to restore from it, you could just select file and then import and navigate to the location. So pretty straightforward and we're ready to begin. So start by double clicking on the HK local machine folder. Do the same thing now for the system folder, so double click on that. Locate current control set and double click on it. Should be a control folder, double click on that one as well. And then locate the graphics drivers folder. Should be one word. So again, graphics drivers. And if you need to pause the video at this point, you can take note of our file path up at the top of the screen. Each bank slash is a different subfolder we've gone under up to this point. So anyway, now directing our attention over to the right panel, you want to right click in a blank area. Select New, and then select DWORD 32-bit value. Name this value TDR Level. So the T and TDR should be capitalized, and the L and Level should be capitalized. Hit Enter on your keyboard. Now that you've done that, you want to go ahead and close out of here. Make sure the value data is set to zero. If there already was a value in here with that name, you just would double click on it, and you would set it to zero. So again, TDR Level, make sure it is zero here. And then once you're done with that, you can just go ahead and close out of here. And open up the star menu search. Search for device manager. Best result should come back with device manager. Go ahead and open that up. Expand the display adapter section, so double click on it. And then right click on whatever your adapter is listed under here and select update driver. Select Browse My Computer for Drivers, and select Let Me Pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. If you have a specific one, I recommend going along with it. Otherwise, if you only had a generic basic display driver, you select that one instead, and then you would select Next. And you give it a moment here. And once that's done, close out of here, and you do want to restart your computer. And there you go, guys. Hopefully I was able to resolve your problem. And as always, thank you for watching. Do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.